The circulatory system, in other words, the transportation system of the global economy is a trillion dollar industry. Yet, no one really talks about it or builds technology for it. That's what makes freight such a massive disruption opportunity for the startups like Flexford. Today, we're going to talk about the freight forwarding startup, Flexford. TechCrunch called this company with the name a sexiest trillion dollar startup due to the market itself they are working with. Here's a good anecdote concerning this company. Steve just went ballistic when a public shipping manifest leaked the existence of the iPhone 3G. That was about the only time something exciting happened in a freight forwarding business. Transparency begets data, which begets efficiency. Smart shipping shrink the physical world the way faster internet shrink the digital one. New businesses emerge. High bandwidth connection paved the way for the Netflix. Now Flexford could make the mid space merchant as nimble as Amazon. Founded in 2013, Flexford went on to grow 15,911 percent between 2015 and 2018, ranking in number 8 on the INC 5000 list of the fastest growing private companies. It had nearly 1,000 employees. By 2019, the company was valued $3 billion. In early 2022, after the two of the hardest year for the company because of the global supply chain crisis, Flexford continued to grow to 2,200 employees across 22 offices and raised $935 million in late-stage funding, which valued the company at $8 billion. Y Combinator president Paul Graham once said that Flexford is one of the small handful of the startups that are going to change the world. So Fright is finally getting the weight of the attention it deserves. So let's start from the scratch. What exactly is the Fright forwarding? Anything weighing over 150 kilograms can be sent like a parcel through the postal service. It qualified as Fright and can require several separately owned vehicles to deliver it across land, sea or air from its sources like factory to the destinations like retail store. To get the best deal on each leg of the journey and handle the hands of their customers, freight forwarding service serves as an organizational logistics layer. They have direct relationship with carriers like truck owners and massive shipping container ships. But like I said, it is an unsexy business, so until recently. Freight forwarding was still being done with a jumble of Excel, email, fax and paper manifest shipped around the world that made it extremely tough to spot overspending or snacks in supply chains. That is, until Flexford index all the available carriers into sortable database in its free software for organizing and tracking shipment. By analyzing all the routes, rates, speed, and customer compliance data of the shipment booked through its full-stack software and service, it can find the most efficient way to get the goods from the point A to point B, C, X, Y, and Z. We are bringing transparency to the black box industry, says Flexford founder and CEO Ryan Peterson. The entire economy depends on the ability to move fried products around. Then how did Flexford start? Shipping began as a side hustle for Peterson. As a teenager, he and his brother started buying stuff from China and then selling it stateside on the web. He moved to the China in 2005 and spent two years in a supply chain trench. That's where Peterson stumbled upon public shipping manifest as an untapped gold mine and started a company, Import Genius, to index them. Soon, he incurred the wrath of Steve Jobs as Import Genius led the press to the fact that the Apple was shipping credit of the as yet unknown iPhone 3G from China. But as Import Genius played it, Peterson said that, I realized that the largest problem was startling me in the face. Global trade is too hard. There's no software to manage it. I thought there was no software for SMBs. What I discovered is that there is no software. After two years of regulatory approvers and a strict in Y Combinator, Flexford has become that software. Why Flexford is outstanding? That's quite an accent concerning Peterson admit, I didn't learn what the term freight forwarder meant until a year into starting a business. 
The shipping giants like FedEx and DHL aren't as liberal. They just can't turn it fast enough. Peterson said, DHL bought three of the biggest freight forwarder for $15 billion, then spent $960 million with IBM for the IT backbone, and they failed. They wrote it off completely. The Flexford's most serious competitor is Expeditor. It's got $1 billion in cash to spend, but doesn't have the startup DNA to build a tech. Expeditor is pre-GUI. It's like a dose. Keyboard shortcuts only. Peterson left. Software is a differentiator. Other startups are also trying to muscle into the freight business with different focuses or business model. Having provided a marketplace connecting commodity traders with carriers, Fleet, which launched a distributed asset 2014 at Shipstar, over a broker marketplace too. While Truck Path and Overhaul just orchestrate trucking overland. But none of those approaches provide a fried omnisense Flexford gas from combining its logistics software data with affording business execution. Flexford could invade other parts of the freight ecosystem, but for now, it's trying to giddy about the idea of creating Amazon one-click for enterprise by using AI to monitor reorder cycle and plan future shipment. Flexford could allow businesses to instantly replenish their inventory when they are run low. Peterson called in an operating system for global trade. They're talking about automating shipment, Paul Graham said. Just imagine the potential energy to be released there. It's 15% of the global economy, and it's much of the back pressure constraining the other 85%. The potential energy is all the greater because the domain is currently so backward, and Flexford has all to itself because shelf blindness has prevented everyone else in the startup from even seeing it. The term shelf blindness is something Graham came up with to describe the inability to innovators to spot potentially big ideas if they inherently involve a painful shelf, the Yiddish word for the tedious journey. Flexford is a perfect example of what can happen if entrepreneurs attack seemingly boring business. Peterson embraced both the literal and figurative shelf necessary to build something new in freight forwarding. Let's finish with this video with the comments from TechCrunch. Kissing the frog, no matter how unsexy, may end up turning him into a prince. Thank you so much for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel and share your thumbs up. I will hop around the world and bring lots of thousands of funny stories to you guys. And see you again. Bye!